You're watching a segment of Shiftcast. If you want to see the full show, head over to the live tab on YouTube or get to Spotify to listen to the full episode. Enjoy. We're going to have Jens do his uh, top 16 this week. And just like we did last time with Michael, um, we're going to pick one of these teams that he has placed uh, and kind of, you know, poke and prod at it a bit. We'll, we'll tell him what we think is wrong with that selection. So, Jens, if you want to take the floor here and reveal your top 16 for the uh, audience, the floor is sure. yours. What order? what order did we do it last time? Well, 16 one, to one. 16? 16. 16 to 1, right? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, we'll start off 16th. Team Secrets. Mm -hmm. They were just in there. It was hard to place. It. It's always hard to place the teams outside of the top 10, I feel like. Harder than in yeah. the top 10. And then we have Grid Surf Resolve, which haven't shown as much prowess as last time, right. but they still showed up. 14th is Complexity, who I would have expected more from, right? Um, but they're still a very solid team from South America. Jobless is next in 13th, who were okay, um, but not challenging the best teams in Europe. Yeah. Twisted Minds in 12th mm -hmm. is still a very strong contender from Mina. In 11th, we have Ninjas in Pajamas, which, which run away with the victory in South America, beat Complexity on the way, but also Furia. Such a fun event me. for them. That was crazy. That was a great... And then in 10th place, we have Gen G, who have shown up throughout the season, but haven't shown the same level as the other North American teams. I'm just gonna continue. We we have we'll wait. Furia we'll wait till in the ninth. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. We have Furia in ninth because they're still a very solid team, only coming second to a very on fire Ninja Jam Pajamas. Space Station Gaming in eighth because they're actually making a case for themselves now, uh, not just out of potential but out of actual results. Seventh is Carmin Corp, who are dropping quite a bit, but you know, they're Carmine Corp. He's One. boiling. Let's put Caliente <laughs> in there too, bro. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Throw TSM yeah, top well, five. Why not? Almost at the bomb. Okay. <laughs> Sixth, Team Falcons. They're still the best team in Mina. Fifth, Gentlemates Alpine, who were, of course, the winners of the last major, but have not shown the same levels online. In fourth, Oxygen Esports, a team that's been beating Gentlemates and beating quite a few other good teams on the way. Third, G2 Stride. The best team in North America and the team that I see challenging Europe in the, at the major. Team Vitality in second and Team BDS in first for the two European teams who are, right now are yeah. at the top of Michael, Europe. We'll go. You know, time before we start... Wait, wait, time out, time out. Oh, okay, sorry. Don't I, go. Said, I thought you said go. Time out, time out. All right. I'm not going to say my thing yet. We'll let Michael go first, but I do have a question. Yeah. I want, we want to we want to allow Yins to elaborate here. You've got Auction sure. as a fourth best team. Just earlier in this episode, you were saying to Michael's claim that they look like they could be a major contender. You said that they're not there yet. Yet you've got them here. Over, yeah, well, I, over I'm, the reigning I'm major ranking, champions at the moment. I'm power ranking how they're playing right now at the LAN and in an offline. At an offline event, I feel like this would look different. Okay. If I would, if I would draft the the standings for okay. London, I would have them in different positions. Okay. All right. So land versus online. Okay. Michael, do your so, thing. So you know, I came here with my nice Rihanna glasses today. I'm taking them off. I'm putting on some normal glasses because that that list was so ass that I, I don't even <laughs> want my normal glasses to be to be seen. 
All right, I got I got a lot of issues. First of all, get swap it. I'm sorry, I don't care what your twisted reasoning is. If you beat a team every single time you play, that team is better than you. So get SSG down to ten and pull Gen G update. I had Gen G at seven on my shift sixteen list, so I'm not trying to be a homer. I'm, they didn't have a good week, but I how if I kick your ass three times in the street, no one's gonna say you're a better fighter than me. I'll tell you that. And it wasn't a close game too. I was foot on your neck, boom, boom. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. And so enough with that. That's ridiculous. But I don't want to talk about that because that's like we talk about it every week. I would love to know your reasoning why Team Falcons isn't at least top five. Because besides a really bad series against Gentlemates, they looked as good as anyone at the major. And they're five for five in Mina, which is a, reg which is a region that I feel like you value quite highly. Um, for a team that is winning constantly, looks on par with the best teams in Europe, and you know, versus a lot of super inconsistent teams like BDS and 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 uh, as well as I mean, even I, I like the auction guys, but they on a power ranking, I don't see how you can put a team that finishes first in their region every time and looked as good as anybody against the teams that auction plays against. Over auction, so I would like to see auction a little high. I mean, sorry, I would like to see Falcons yeah, I mean, a little they're, high. They're they're incredibly close in my mind. Those those, especially, ooh, uh, fourth fifth position, yeah, Oxygen or Gentlemates or sixth for Team Falcons. I mean, you can turn those any way you want. It, it's a it's a slight balance between recency bias and longevity, and I just couldn't get. Uh, a team that's won the last major out of the top five. Was it so? How much did the European casters pay you to make sure that all the European teams were above Falcons? Because I know Johnny probably. <laughs> I know. I know the Johnny Boy Mina Union probably gave you a pretty penny to try to put Falcons a little higher. So like the Colin Stumpy Foundation must be funding your pockets, pal, because that's all I can see. Chen Chi number ten. I should well. sue you. I should <laughs> sue you for that blasphemy. <laughs> anyway, let's not talk about it. That's that's a the tie dye about like Hootie, you too. Okay. Turn. I mean, I I you've left me no choice. I really don't want to do this, but I I don't understand how auctions at four. Really? <laughs> yeah, you've I seen don't, them play, I don't understand. Right? No, I'm listen, I'm, I'm trying not to see anybody, play. but we've got a top we've got a top four and a top two. We haven't even won an event yet. And you've got Team Falcons there, who has won every event in Mina, went to the major and looked like one of the best teams in the world, top four, top five at least. Gentlemates has been uh, just as consistent or more consistent than us, at least towards the top, and the major champions. Sure, we just beat them once, uh, but they've beaten us every other time this season. And listen, yeah, wait, hold like on. I, said, I didn't want to do this. I don't. I, who likes to request that their own team be lower in a list? But I, I just, especially really? because... You know, I, I hear your land versus online, but I'm, I'm getting conflicting views here. We've, we've got them so high, but they're not major contenders. I, I can't, well, I can't understand. Hoodie, as you know, when you beat a team, they're supposed to go higher than you. So clearly, Gentlemate should be over, should be over Oxygen because Oxygen won their head-to-head -head matchup. That's the <laughs> the logic we're working with here. Oh, so. oh, right. So that's yeah, that I must have been a typo right, or right. something. I don't know. Wait, is it higher number better? Maybe. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> I just try not to be a Lycopedia watcher. I try oh. to actually watch the games. Lando, sure. you're not here. Can we pull up first killer versus Oxygen uh, two years ago, fall major game seven? Two Thank you. Two years ago. Two years ago. Okay. Let's watch okay, some tape. Let's hear that. Okay, okay, buddy. Anyway, no, I, I try to watch the games, and I, I really think that Oxygen have the potential to right now, this moment, that's what we're working with, to beat all but like three teams in the world. So you don't think they can beat anyone above them? Oh yeah, of course they can. But okay, like, sorry, I just want to clear that up. Like, not to, to be like a hater, predict, but like, that's yeah, like a yeah, if I have to thing. predict the scores, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So no, you're, I just you're wanted to make sure that that wasn't like Team a... Falcons. Yeah, I would at the moment. Yeah. Okay, I like that, Yins. I mean, like I said, it's just so incredibly close. But that's what I'm going with. Yeah. Okay. I. I mean, I'm. I'm similar to Michael. We'll just ignore the SSG thing. I also think that's pretty wild. That nah, he's just hating. <laughs> like, come on. 
He knew. He he came here to bother I me. I couldn't tell if he froze. I couldn't tell if he froze. I thought he lagged. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I, let's. I, okay. I, I, I want to be the underdog. I want to be the underdog. I want everyone to hate on us. Say, well, I'm I'm giving it to you for free. Yeah. There you go. You should say thank you. You know what? I was gonna buy a jersey it went, when Gen G win the world championship. I think I'm gonna make Jens buy it for me. I think I'm gonna make him pay for it because of that. <laughs> Check. I'll send you a request on PayPal. <clears throat> if they win the major, I'm buying you a, a jersey. Beautiful. Digital Walk shake. Walk it in. Please. It's here. Digital shake. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. <laughs> That was just a segment of Shiftcast. Full episode is on the live tab on YouTube or on Spotify, and you can watch another segment right here.